morning. morning from the ocean. We think we're at the ocean. I can't see. That's true. We can't <laughs> see any ocean. Now. I feel it a little. Yeah, we're bibbling a little bit. Not bad. Full sea day today, mm -hmm. so we're gonna see what we get up to. We've marked some stuff on the uh, schedule, and yeah. you know what? Keep the plans loose and just do whatever it looks like. It's the most fun. Right now, we're gonna go get breakfast. That's fun. And go to the gym. Oh, less fun. It's fun, and then we'll see what we do. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Good morning, little friend. <laughs> Welcome to Lido, where we've entered down here at the omelet station. Woo! All kinds of meats and cheeses. Good old breakfasty stuff. Oh, juices. This is the cereal and yogurt station. Very nice. Oh, they've got chia pudding here. Wow. Oh, they're bopping some. Uh, is this Wilson Phillips? Yeah. So we've got some uh, yogurty chia creations to start off. And we got an array of other goodness to go with it. Oh, they're doing the old upcharge seafood boil too. $35 per person. Yeah, we'll do a quick crossing of the Lido deck. Ooh, feel that breeze. Well, the pool getting some use today, but there's still a few chairs here and there. Time to go. We come back to the cabin for a quick freshen up and slight wardrobe change. And now we're off to find there's a lot of activities going on right now. We're going to see what's the best looking, least crowded one. Let's start here at the Ocean Bar, deck three. They have got an upcharge mixology class going on here in about half an hour. Oh, what's happening over there? Some kind of seminar. Well, it's an acupuncture seminar that kicked up behind us. Oh, that's right. They do those smoked cocktails here. Well, they've given us each four glasses as well as a glass of ice water. I guess maybe as a palate cleanser or a uh, d d diluter, a d dilution, so we're not dilutional. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, we got a menu. Oh, we can make them at home now. Would you like to join us? basic bar tools, we have the jigger. So this one measured uh, two ounce, this one with a big, and then one ounce with a shorter. I need uh, one lady and one gentleman to be inside of the bar. Ooh, bartender <laughs> D in full effect. Happy birthday to you. Oh, that's right. Let's know how long to wash your hands. On board, we're using the Sky Citrus Vodka. So we need three ounces. So one cool and one cup. To the line inside. To the line. Yeah. Oh wow, he's fast. Oh, okay. He's yep. You do that little overpour. Mm. Orange liquor. Well, we use it. The control. Yes, it takes. Yeah, it doesn't. Ah, cranberry juice. We put one ounce. The ocean spray started those cosmopolitan because cranberry is sweet. We put a little bit of sour. So normally, cosmopolitan serve in a full portion of martini. Three, two, one, shake! 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 So I need a volunteer again. So now they're going to make this variation which has chambord added. Chambord is a black raspberry. I might wait and see when these bourbon drinks come up. It'll be Jay's turn. I might, I might see. I'll have to give you the camera and see what you can capture. We'll see. There we go. Number two. So Manhattan mostly we do it uh, steered. This one's got sake. So we have our ginger liqueur. Mm. Jay is going to volunteer now. Happy birthday. Professional. Sake. Sake. Get some close up steer action. We still have one more mixology class for upcoming sea days. We still have uh, one more upcoming, which is the mojitos and margaritas. 
we have finished mixology. Oh yeah, passing back through the photo gallery, they have all sorts of cute stuff. Oh, the little chair photo frames. <laughs> oh, they've got little push button restroom technology. That's awesome. And now on to lunch. Let's go ahead and refresh our memory on the menu here. There's all the delicious burgers. And of course we've got hot dogs and sides. Man, it's jumping out here. Well, one thing I don't see here is the little grab and go where I think you can just get a basic burger or a basic hot dog and run away with it. So unless I missed it, anyway, we have placed our order and we will wait with our little pager. We'll have lunch, we'll travel. We are gonna head back to the cabin for a little bit of work. And there it is. So there is Dee's free dive with naked fries, which is basically just a bunless burger. I got the cannonball, which has gouda and bacon and other fantastic stuff on it, and some naked fries. We have broken out of the cabin again. You just can't keep us in that cabin today. <laughs> got some arts and crafts happening. Look at this hallway. It's like infinity. Crazy. Oh, I forgot the Neptune lounge is right here on our deck. Mm. No access. We've come to the forward elevator lobby, which should give us access to this whole crow's nest art studio area. Observation deck. Welcome to deck 11. Oh, there's the little art studio off to the side. We see some folks in there doing a class. There's a bar out here as well. Oh, this be a coffee bar up here. There is the coffee menu. All sorts of fixins here across from the bar. This is set up very much like the one on Nordam. They have this little desk here. There's a giant section of games and things. This is just like a bunch of puzzles on this side. And of course, this is kind of your observation lounge concept where you can just sit, do nothing, and watch the ocean. Previous class has ended and we snuck in and snagged a spot. They told people they actually didn't have to leave, so some people are holding down spots for the long run, but here we are. Oh, the previous class was brush lettering. Well, we've got a thicker piece of paper, which I guess is our canvas, a thinner piece of paper, which she's given us some paints to work with on, some brushes and some jars, which will be filled up with probably water soon. Who's ever experimented with Oh, that's going to be the final painting. Huh. Ooh, that's even more complicated. Oh, look at that. So we've done a little wet onto wet. Now we're going to do wet onto dry. It's a purple snake. You can see the difference in the dry brush versus the wet brush. Guys, we're learning stuff. We're learning a lot. We have made what looks like a piece of purple cake over here, but I mean, I like purple cake. <laughs> We're working on our glazing technique now. I should have drawn a donut, I could have glazed it. Hmm. <laughs> oh, the splatter technique. Oh she saved that for the end because that's fun. Oh, you can do that. That is messy. So much masterpiece. <laughs> All right, Miss Artiste. Let's go. Down to deck two. Deck two. Well, bingo has just let out here at Billboard, but we are here for lightning trivia. So I believe the concept of this is that you get 30 questions with 30 seconds to think about each question. Please do not yell out the answer. Write it down on the paper. And then the second time I ask, you can yell at your heart's content. Oh my God. 22. 15, 20, 23, 25, 24. Oh, wow. Anybody else get 24? All right, we've got close, our winners, folks. Fantastic, let's hear it for them. Going up. Good evening. Good evening. It is time for dinner and I'm ready for it. Yeah, me too. It's a specialty dinner. It is brand new to Holland America. We have the restaurant Morimoto by Sea. I'm excited. I used to watch mm. Iron Chef. Yeah. Do you remember that? The Masu original Mario one? Morimoto? Yes. That's so cool. I've always wanted to eat like one of their 
dining option. Yeah, it's like an iron chef. <laughs> it's not restaurant. like she made it for me, but it's close. He enough. might be in that kitchen. You never know. It's adjacent. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, but this is a brand new concept. I think this is one of the very, very few ships that this restaurant has opened on. They are doing yeah. pop-ups across the fleet. Like we have Rotterdam coming up in a mm -hmm. month or so, and I think they have a Marimoto pop-up on there. So yeah. you might get it on some of your sailings. But we are going to the full-fledged restaurant. Check it out. <sighs> Let's go eat some food. Good thing we're hungry. Yeah, I mean, I had that burger earlier, oh, and yeah. it was fantastic, and I still say, dive in, best fries at sea. Fight me. 100% agree. Yeah, that was amazing. And even just, like, the lettuce-wrapped burger, so good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's roll. Go get more food. Sushi <laughs> roll. <laughs> Elevator. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, that's the water. Yeah, so this should be midship up on deck 11. Oh, it's got a little dampness in the sky out there. Yeah, it's definitely cloudy. Welcome to Deck 11 Midship then. So I guess we got some time to kill. So let's see Tamarind Bar. Well, speaking of panoramic views, all right, this will do. Well, here is the bar menu. I believe this is the same menu we saw when we ate at Tamarind. I think that was back on New Stottenham. Oh, they've got Morimoto wines and things. You know, it is technically whale season in the Caribbean, so let us know if you see any spouts or flappy tails or arms or any of that stuff out there. <laughs> There we have dual tamarind and Morimoto by sea. So they've got the double signage in here. I guess tamarind is still the restaurant concept that's over that way. But if you flip over this way on the floor here, we've got Morimoto by sea indicated, and that is this fresh new concept. Well, let's do a little decor basking while we sit here. Very modern looking. I like it. Clean lines. Well, we've got a lot of menus to go over. I captured some of the digital versions, so I'll just use those. We've got the main food menu, the sushi menu, the drink menu. Well, let's dive in. the Morimoto Dream Brut Rosé. This is one of Morimoto's special wines. It's beautiful. You can sit here and watch it bubble all day. <laughs> Rather drink it. <laughs> well, spoiler alert, I might have something messy coming, so she brought me a nice little towelette to use, as well as some house soy sauce for one of my other dishes. I decided to try the Morimotini because that's just fun to say. It's basically Tito's vodka mixed with one of Morimoto's special sakes. And she said something about it being gluten free. Gluten free, yeah. There you go. And it has vegetables in it, so of course, that's healthy. <laughs> Is a cucumber technically a fruit? It has seeds. That's still healthy, right? Our appetizers have arrived. Dee has gone with tacos two ways. So this one is hamachi, and this is a spicy tuna with jalapenos, uh, red onions, some microgreens, tomatoes, and this is chef recommends that you squeeze the lime on it to bring out the flavors of the fish more. Well, here is the dish that required the extra napkin. I got the sticky ribs. They look like ribs, and they look sticky. <laughs> And we also decided to try the gyoza dumplings. This skillet is piping hot. She said, do not touch it. It came out sizzling. And she poured a, like a ginger and scallion sauce on top. Yeah, and there's sake. Everything smells delicious. Oh my gosh. All right, well, Morimoto is the fresh fish ambassador for Holland America. So you've gone with the crispy whole fish. Yeah, this was a suggestion from Zindi, mm -hmm. our lovely server. Um, yeah, I don't know. Didn't know what to expect. <laughs> So, I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. It looks and there's like no it. bones in it, which is huge. True. Yeah. Now I forgot what was the sauce she just poured over the top. It's a mango chili sauce. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Well, I have got the angry lobster pad thai. She just poured this red Thai curry sauce over top. It is sizzling and bubbling away. 
Uh, we've also got some sides. Dee chose the fried rice. Mm -hmm. I went with the bok choy. Put it on the top of it. Voila. Voila. Magic. <laughs> so we have a marshmallow, heavy cream, and dark chocolate inside of it with the chocolate sable. All right, we just got the rundown on these desserts. That is a large dessert cup. But I heard Pop Rocks, I heard... Mango sorbet, oh my gosh. coconut rice pudding, white chocolate lime ganache, and coconut shavings. Mm. It just sounds like me. Other than the white chocolate, but I'm giving it a shot. And I've got the chocolate sphere with all that marshmallowy goodness, a little bit of berries on the plate, and some chocolatiness over there. Ooh, we are done with dinner. We're slightly full, I think. So good. We'll talk about it more later, but it's oh, so yeah. full. <laughs> Going down. Well, let's just come right in the side entrance of Rolling Stone, back down here on deck two. Well, there are the music sets coming up later. There is a game show in here first, so we'll just chill for a while. Let's take a little peek at the menu while we're in here. Ah, hmm. oh, it's the Secret Identities game show this evening. Help our contestants figure out who or what they are. There's going to be some words that show up on the screen like this in very specific categories. You have to help them guess. So they're going to be asking you yes or no questions. But uh, has anyone seen our Louis the Lion mascot yet? Yeah. 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 So very apt that the captain sent him from the lion. Let's give it up one more time for all of our contestants that came out today. It was a very special version of Secret Identities. And now it's tune time. Please put your hands together for the Rolling Stone Lounge Band. We have come back to the cabin to find a cute little friend who's trying to eat some chocolate. Now, chocolate's not good for doggies, I don't think, so you better just leave those to us. Beach towels for tomorrow, which were in the closet, but they took them out to show us that we have them. Well, it looks like we're on the Lyrica. Lyrica. <laughs> um, paperwork for tomorrow, including a breakfast ordering card, which we saw a lot of those out in the hallway as we just walked back by. Kind of an early port day. And side note, now neither one of our ceiling lights seems to be... Maybe I didn't hit the that right. could be our error though, so we'll yeah. see. We're figuring out the lights in here still. Oh yeah, because that light didn't come on either. No, that one came on. Alright, we're just gonna mash switches and see if we alright, different ones are coming on and off. It's like a disco in here. Just this one which worked um this morning is no longer working. Like I said, it could be user error. Well, oh dear. I helped the camera's lost focus. Alright, we'll we'll figure it out. I have no idea. And then there was light. Okay, we got it. Good, good evening. Night. Whoa, the ship just moved as I started to say good night, and here I am wiggling. Good night. Yo, we're back in the cabin. We are. What are we even up to? Well, we'll save dinner for last, but hmm, boy. Yeah. Uh, pretty much just Rolling Stone Lounge, I guess, is all we have to talk about. So. Holland America, yeah. you are amazing with your music. That That's is true. a fantastic band as well. Love the harmonies, and they mm. can sing high and really low and do all sorts of different genres. We only yeah. got to hear the one set tonight, but I know we'll they can. More. So, yeah, it was really entertaining, and everybody was dancing and having a good time. Were. Yeah. Almost got up there myself and put a few moves. Busted some moves. <laughs> Y'all, right. let's dish on dinner. Morimoto by sea. Mmm. Let's get right into it. So there are your tacos. Delicious. I don't really have any other words to Is describe other than it was everything? the freshest fish I've had, I think, in 
forever. Um, all the flavors melded perfectly. It was a crispy, like, little tortilla type presentation. Oh, it was so good. I would eat like five of those. They only gave you two. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, that's the only down thing is there's only two that's it <laughs> sticky ribs now hands down this was my favorite dish of the entire evening i could have had a whole meal made out of sticky ribs and i would have been a happy boy they were good it was <laughs> sweet it was savory i think there's some hoisin in there which is a flavor i really like tender fall off the bone and crispy i gave you some right because they actually take them mm -hmm. and they like bread them and fry them and then sauce them not healthy oh my god y'all get the sticky ribs Yes. Okay. Um, oh yeah, and then we kind of shared these mm -hmm. dumplings. Yeah, the pork gyoza, or the gyoza dumplings. That's all the words they are. <laughs> they were good overall. Yeah. I wish I had eaten them before the ribs, because when I had the ribs, everything else just paled in comparison. But Ruins taking it. them, yeah, taking them on their own accord, they were wonderful. They are really good. Came um, out lots of scallion yeah. flavor, and like um, the sake was good. It, they're very warm though, like not they were. spicy, but just temperature. Yeah, that pan, who sizzle, sizzle. Watch out. <laughs> There is your whole fish. Now, some people are probably freaked out because you had food with a head on it. I mean, to be fair, I didn't know that when I ordered it, but it doesn't bother me either. Just don't eat that part. It's the dish that smiles back. Whole <laughs> fish. It was delicious. It was, there was no bones in it, which was amazing. Mm. So you could just like dig right in and like the mango, like salad yeah. on top and like the chili dressing, everything just made it perfectly seasoned and tastes good. And it was so fresh. Oh, it was so straight from the fresh fish ambassador yes there is my angry lobster pad thai now i was expecting it to be like boom boom in your face spicy and it wasn't but that's pleasant it was a nice red thai curry spice <laughs> which they dumped on you know a table side they could leave it for you to administer yourself i'm sure but lobster very tender and flavorful the pad thai was fantastic i think i had bok choy in the middle there which is funny let's pop our sides up because you oh, had yeah. fried rice it was very good and I had bok choy. I was giving it some time for you guys to look at the picture. So I, I'm, I'm a bok choy boy tonight. Bok choy boy. But yeah, great. I would order that a million times. Mm -hmm. uh, here is, well, let's jump to yours actually. What was yours called? Oh, it was the ganache. A white chocolate lime ganache, something other. Basically, it had like uh, coconut on top and coconut foam and mm. like a mango sorbet rice pudding and a lime white chocolate ganache and pop okay. rocks were really That's fun. fun i liked it i don't personally think it needed the lime and white chocolate ganache no. i don't know that it added any more to it that's just a personal thing but it was delicious yeah you're not a white chocolate fan. i don't like fun white, fact, chocolate. white chocolate it's not chocolate so. but i still would order it again it was really good Nice. I had the Cocoa Sphere. So there we are looking at it before the hotness got poured on it. And there it is after the hotness got poured on it. <laughs> Ooh, this one. Now, I thought I've, I've had Chocolate Sphere desserts in the past, and they are just so cloyingly chocolatey. This was not that. It had marshmallow, which is sweet. It had caramel, which is sweet. But when you put them all together, somehow it was not overwhelming. It was actually a nice balance. And then that little chocolate log on the side, I donated some of that to you because it, it was, was a very pure chocolate experience. Dark chocolate. It almost worked as a palate cleanser to go to that darker chocolate after eating some of the sweeter chocolate, but it came together really well. So, yeah. yo, I'm happy with my meal. 10 out of 10 would <laughs> highly recommend. Um, yeah, especially because it's only on this ship as the sit down oh, dining true. experience. And right now it's currently $55 a person, which yeah. is totally worth it. Yeah, we've seen it. It's going to be a pop up experience on Rotterdam, and I think it's something like, uh, it's, it's like 65 mm -hmm. on Rotterdam. So, mm, and the, the menu's a little different too. Yeah, the pricing can vary by ship but yeah. at least for us on new amsterdam right now it's fit to try it. Ooh, if you yeah. don't like seafood don't try it but if you like seafood you'll love it that's true i mean there's probably some non-seafoody stuff but Not you'll have a, lot, a you'll yeah. have a good seafood time it's in amazing. there amazing yeah we're going to be in after work yes. we got a port tomorrow hey so keep an eye on the weather because yeah, there's some thunderstorms yeah. in the forecast but you know that stuff changes so rapidly yeah it was a great day it was thanks for joining us see you tomorrow bye Let's take a peek down this breakfast room service card, actually, because fun fact, room service does not seem to have a delivery charge on Holland America as of right now. There are a few upcharge indulge items. This is just looking at the breakfast menu specifically, but all this other stuff is yours for the taking. All right, I'm going to bed. <laughs>